Hi, I'm going to talk about uh, African violets a little bit. I have three of them here. This one I had grown from a leaf. So I put a leaf cutting in and it's still growing. And this one I started from a decapitation, which is what I'm going to show today. And it's starting to bloom. This is February 2014. This is an African violet that is really in sorry shape. Um, I left it go quite long, so it's getting very ugly, lopsided. It doesn't even want to stand on its own anymore, so today I'm going to decapitate it. So here we go. Take it out of this pot, and I'm not even going to use, you can repot the bottom, but I'm not going to. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it off right here to start. Just cut the top off. Now, if, if you want, you can scrape this and replant it, and it may sprout a new African violet from the base, but I'm not going to worry about that one. I'm going to show you this one. So there are a lot of leaves. It's growing crooked. I'm going to just start peeling these away till I get down to the core or the crown of this plant. And I'm going to be a little bit wicked and wild just to get through the film quicker. Now you can see how it's long. And I'm going to keep pulling and removing. I'm getting down to the, to the crown now. Um, so here's where you want to be a little more careful. You want to leave about five uh, leaves in, in the end, in the very middle. So I'm going to keep going around, taking them. Uh, African violets grow. They did come from Africa. They're used to growing at high elevation, uh, around 4,000 feet, where it can be dry. And so you never want to overwater your African violets. Um, if they sit in wet water, they'll die. Um, so they do take a little bit of different care. Now I'm got getting down to the middle. I've got to be a little careful. Um, I can see a lot of new leaves growing in the middle. But if I leave these long ones, they're going to be shading it and hiding it. So I'm going to take these longest outside ones off. And I still have one, two, three, four, four, oh my, I don't know. I'm kind of think I'm going to take this guy yet. It's kind of a guessing game. You have to leave some leaves so that the, they have um, chlorophyll forming for, okay, that looks good. I like that. That's the crown. And now, you, you could even plant these. But other people have videos, so I won't, I'm showing you decapitation. So what you want to do is take this and leave enough base, like that, to put into the soil. And I will cut it at an angle. And I'm going to cut an angle on the other side. So it looks like a V. Now my pot's a little large. African violets like smaller pots to start. And once it gets root bound, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm moving around for the cameraman. And once, once the leaf starts to form a rosette, then it starts to become pot bound. The roots fill the pots and it will flower. And this one has a little bud in the middle. This pot's a little large. But I already have a rosette, so I'm going to go ahead and just plant it in here. This is the pot I have on hand. The pot has drainage in the bottom, and I can want water and then pour out of this little spout any excess uh, water so it's not sitting in water. But it's going to take a long time for the roots to fill this one. So now what I need to do is fill this up with soil. This is African violet potting soil that I did mix, um, did buy from the store, um, rather than make my own. Some people will make their own, but this was convenient for me. African violet mix is good because it doesn't hold the water for a long time. There. 
Now all I need to do is stick this in here up to the first set of leaves and tighten that around and uh, water it so till the soil's damp, pour off the excess water and then I'm going to cover it with a plastic tent for humidity and I'll leave it in that tent make sure it doesn't get too moist inside the tent, open it to air it and the tent will hold in humidity until the roots start to form. That's it. Go ahead and decapitate one and give it a try. Thank you.